of months back, I made a video about how to make mixed fruit jam. And after watching that video, many of you all told me that please make peanut butter and even in that video, I told you that we'll be making up some peanut butter. And for making it, it's really easy. <sighs> so let's start. Shall we? For making a peanut butter, first we'll start off by taking some peanuts. These are about 400 grams of peanuts and first we'll start by dry roasting them up. Once your pan slightly heats up, now we'll pour in up our peanuts and we'll dry roast it until it changes the color by bit. Remember to keep a flame on medium high. Remember to give it continuous stirs. Once you start hearing the spluttering noises and you notice that the peanuts are getting darker, at that point of time you know that your peanuts are ready. We'll switch off the flame and let it cool down by a bit. Once your peanuts totally cool down, now it's time to remove the skins. First, we'll start off by taking a sieve or a colander. We'll pour in our peanuts and start shaking them up. I have finally peeled out the skins and it is almost impossible to remove the skins of every peanut. So it's alright if there are few on them. These are exactly 400 grams of peanuts. And now we'll take up a mixer grinder and pour in all of our peanuts. If your mixer grinder is small, it's alright if you do it in batches. And I feel filling half of it will be adequate. There we go. This is just a bit more than half. I guess we should remove some of it because the mixy grinder won't move that fast. This is perfect. We'll do this for the second batch. Here's the first batch. Approximately for 400 grams of peanuts, you need exactly two tablespoons of olive oil. As this is about 200 grams, first we'll start off by adding one tablespoon of olive oil. And do not add a lot of oil just because peanut leaves its own oil which will then form into some peanut butter. We'll add on a pinch of salt for flavor and then we'll grind it on pulse. After about one minute of continuous grinding, you'll notice that our peanuts have this sort of texture. We'll just give it a mix and you'll notice that it's sort of getting oily too. The peanuts are leaving its oil. And then once you give it a mix, we'll again grind it for about three and a half to four minutes continuous on high speed. After two minutes of more mixing, you'll notice our peanut butter is sort of getting smooth, but it's not done yet. There are a lot of chunky peanuts. We'll just give it a mix just like that. And back in the food processor or your mixing grinder for about three minutes, then you'll notice a very smooth peanut buttery texture. It has approximately been about three minutes and just Look at our peanut butter. Doesn't this look gorgeous? This is the perfect creamy version of a peanut butter we were looking for. Just look at that gorgeous creaminess and beauty of our peanut butter. Guys, just look at that delicious peanut butter. Doesn't this look gorgeous? Now let's transfer this into a container. And the best part, you can store this in the refrigerator for about 3 months. Whew. Guys, once your peanut butter is ready, now we'll take a small storage container and store our peanut butter up. I'm storing up 200 grams of peanut butter. The rest of the 200 grams, I'm, I'll use it some other time for making my peanut butter. Guys, I just want to tell you the consistency is so good. And now let's do the spreading test. And now we'll spread on our peanut butter. Just look at that. If you want the thick consistency what you get in the store, just throw it in the fridge for about two to three hours and you'll get the same consistency what you're looking for. Whew, just look at that spread. And of course, you can't forget the jam or the jelly, peanut butter jelly. So now let's spread up our jelly too. If you still haven't watched the recipe of how to make our mixed fruit jelly, the link is in the description box below. And now let's close this up. 
So guys, here's the one step I do every single time which elevates the flavor of my PB&J. First we'll take up a pan. Then we'll add on one tablespoon of butter. Once your butter melts, we'll throw in a slice of our bread and rub it over. We'll give it a nice little crust. Let it sit there for 15 seconds on extremely high flame. And after 15 seconds, now we'll give it a flip. Just look at that crispy crust on the top. So guys, finally our peanut butter and jelly is ready, AKA PB and J. And now it's time for the taste test, my favorite part. I like to give it a golden crust like this. It elevates the crunch, the crispiness and the softness of a bread more. Now let's take a bite. Mmm. Man, this is so good. This is actually the perfect breakfast what we all look for. Just look at that. The flavor, man. This is so good. And guys, if you like this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Till the time.